You obtained Eyeball of Fire. Succulent eye used as an ingredient in Orochi's appetizer. Said it was succulent. There's something back here. Some sort of pathway to something. Aha! Were you able to lead the fire in here somehow? Yes, we indeed can. Maybe? Or at least I feel like we should be able to. Guess it doesn't go that far. Unless is there something above that I'm missing? No. And it couldn't be this torch because I can't get close enough with that torch. No, that doesn't do anything. Interesting. Wonder if there's anything to do with this... ...platform in the middle. Doesn't seem like it. That's fine. Most likely the stuff in those chests are not essential after all. But maybe I'll get something before we leave here. That was Orochi, no doubt. Sounds like he's hungry or something. Oh no, maybe he couldn't wait for his appetizer. He hasn't eaten poor Kushi first, has he? Uh, hopefully not. Yeah, maybe we'll find, like, a stick or something that we can use to move the fire to that further one. In which case, you know, I'll come back. Skull... Excuse me. Skull dome... Do domes. Skull dunes. Don't play with the ball. What's with all this sand crumbling off the ceiling? I mean, we better be extra careful around here. Yeah, it looks like there's pits that things can fall into. Like that. <laughs> immediately puts the ball in a pit. What did this do? Huh? Thought I saw a path for a second when the sand blew by. Yeah, I saw one too.
I'd be very cruel of them to leave a hole on the floor there. Alright. Heal this clover. Fucking hell, god damn it. Okay. I only took damage. I was thinking I might have to start over. I was like, what the fuck? There we go. There goes the fire. Oh, and we got the map. Nice. Anything to burn? No. Wait, what's the other way? Oh, nothing. We gotta go up here. Hmm? Here for a snack or something to your break during your break? Well, take your pick. Just don't try to sniff me. Alright. Might as well sell our stuff. not gonna use it, right? Melt this. And it's an incense burner that we can sell. Well, you sure to take a lot of breaks, he said, huh? Well, of course, because I don't work here, bucko. The hell is this? Oh, I see. Okay. We need to make the wind blow so we can get over to the other side. And then, what does it say here? Danger. Do not use the cannon. It is out of order. I want to do just the opposite when I see a sign like this. Guess I should change my title to Eason the Fearless. Most likely we gotta blast that wall open or something. There we go. Got it. It was all about timing. All right, now we make our way back. All right. Go through the hole in the wall. Enemies. Here. Good night. Thanks for the horns. I 
Okay. What is at the end here? Some ice. But I don't see any fire. So the question then... Is how do we melt this? Hmm... Okay. Do we push it with wind? Yep, that is what we do. Push it this way again. And a little more this way. There we go. And then this way. Or not. Keep forgetting that you run out of ink. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. That way we could do that. And then once I get my ink back, We'll do this one. Holy Bone M. Ouch. The fuck? Thought I got rid of the ice here. There we go. And then we can go this way. One of the ingredients are here. Simple enough. Okay. What is this last one that we're looking at? Black Demon Horn. We can jump down now. Not worry about not getting what we need. Utani pottery. That's lit on fire. Golden peach. Where does this go? Oh, it goes to over here. Crystal. I think that was all of the ingredients, right? Only needed, like, four of them. So we'll go up 
there and save first. Then we'll talk to the chef. Unless it makes us talk to him right away. What do we have here? You brought back more than one of the secret ingredients? Wow, you're good. I just knew you'd make the perfect assistant. It was nothing. Anyways, we're kind of in a hurry. You offered ogre liver, lips of ice, eyeball of fire, black demon horn. Hee hee hee. With each secret ingredient I add, my love for a Lord Orochi shall deepen. Okay, now I have all the secret ingredients. It's time to finish off my special dish. Feast your eyes on my fabulous skills, darling. Oh, with a true heart something, I shall prepare a symphony of demonic goodness. Ta-da! Introducing the crown jewel of appetizers. Guaranteed to bring out maximum flavor in any main course. I give you my ultimate masterpiece. Dung Heap Slime Bucket Goulash. This shall make that main course Kushi taste 1,000 times better. Well, we mustn't keep Lord Orochi waiting, sweetheart. Go to the Great Hall and ring the Epicurean Bell. That shall herald the completion of my appetizer masterpiece. The sound of that melodious bell shall draw open the curtain on Lord Orochi's bloody feast. Alright, we'll save here. Okay, well... Powderpuff, what are you waiting for? If you don't hurry up, the dung... Oh, okay, so we need to go... Hit the bell. Right. That's what it wants us to do. So we already put all the ingredients inside the pot. This one right here. And now what we gotta do is just go over and... Hit this bell. That we hit at some point before. Hehe, <laughs> at last! The meal is ready. Let the Epicurean bell ring out. Let it ring as many times as Lord Orochi has heads. Ringing the bell is normally my job, but seeing how you've just been, been just itching to ring it all this time, I'll let you do the honors. Put your wicked body and evil soul into it. Make it ring out with wild abandon. How many heads does uh, Orochi have again? I don't even remember, to be quite honest. Guess we'll find out right now. Hello? Okay, there we go. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight heads. And then there goes the appetizer. And they lift it all the way up towards where I would guess Orochi is. Meanwhile... Well, what do you have to say now, huh? Now, this is the scary part. If the meal does not please Lord Orochi, those cooks will get their gooses cooked. Sigh. It's tough being an underling. Phew, that sure was stressful. I wish I hadn't seen Lord, Oro Lord Orochi's throne room. There is something about that place that just terrifies me. Sorry, pal, but... Would you mind taking this elevator to that throne room again? What? what? Are you insane? Oh, come on, please. I mean, I want to take a peek at Lord Orochi's throne room, too. Come on, just this once. But, but, but... We're just Lord Orochi's lowly underlings. 
Lodorochi will surely gobble us up if we barge in during dinner. You really want to see the throne room that bad? Yes. Yes, I do. I can see that you won't change your mind. I'll take you to the throne room if you want to go that bad. After all, I was born to operate this elevator. And up we go. you have to say you'll see the throne room once you're over that slope ahead but if you don't hurry you'd better be ready to get gobbled up along with the appetizer over there go grab a peek at the throne room and then hightail it back here what's this an imp merchant what do you want in a place like this hmm? now here's a new face coming here shows great bravery want an offering for Lord Orochi? There's plenty here. Yes, let's do some shopping. Uh, nothing that I need. Cool. Aha, okay. Save our progress. Means that there's a boss coming up, of course. Go ahead and check over here. Up the pathway, there should be a door or something to the throne room. Is that it? No, that might be it, actually. Continue all the way up. That is, in fact, it. Uh, Amy, look over there. Tushi. not going to be as simple as just grabbing her and then going. And he's probably going to see through our disguise. Oh, she woke up. Hello there. Oh, we throw off the disguise. Oh, wild god of the heavens. 100 years have passed since you imprisoned me here. How is it you have come back after perishing and turning into stone? 100 years in a cold stony tomb, you reek of decay. I've heard enough. Bottoms up, big guy. Oh, I didn't do anything, huh? Maybe it did. Hmm. Okay, what do we gotta do here? Gotta figure that out. Some buds. What happens if we do that? Just ink. Okay. All right. Can't use ink abilities right now. Oh, cause, probably because we got hit. That sucks. And this sucks too. Holy shit. What am I supposed to do? Take the water, go here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That cheater has a barrier up. 
What are we going to do now? Any bright ideas for a ball? Hmm. Run, Kushi, run. Hold it right there, vile serpent. Susano. Susano. You came. I knew you'd come. Have no fear. Susano is here. Orochi and I have a score to settle. Pops? Long have I awaited your coming, O descendant of Nagi. Now we shall fulfill this burning desire which has consumed us. The descendants of Nagi have kept me imprisoned here for 100 years. Yet it is that accursed bloodline which shall unleash my true power. A pact between Nagi's descendant and I, the great Orochi, shall deliver unto me dark powers beyond my comp beyond all comprehension. Let us seal the blood pact for all eternity. What the heck's Serpent Breath talking about? A blood pact with Susano will unleash Orochi's true power? Oh, he who seeks power, your first chance slipped through your grasp. But now the time has come for us to seal our eternal bond. Speak the words, I wish darkness upon the world. Utter that prayer to me and seal our blood pact. Blood pact. You too shall gain dark powers beyond all comprehension. Orochi is trying to tempt Susano. I bet that sneaky serpent was the one giving Pops those nightmares. Now, utter the prayer. Let the words come from deep within. Recite the words of our blood pact. What's he gonna do? Oh, I shall. I am the descendant of Nagi. Behold, Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. Hear me, vile serpent, who would seek to harm a helpless woman. Your time is up. Feel the wrath of my trusty sword. Oh shit, he actually got through. Foolish beast, did you really think you could deceive me? The only pact for me is the one that comes with my bloodline. If it's if it is my fate to fall battling evil, then so be it. I seek help from neither god nor demon. The heroic bloodline of Nagi is all I require to slay you. Glittering Golden Sake. Is that 8 Purification Sake, Ami? That it is. Susano and Kushi made a miracle happen. Time to work your magic, Ami. Alright. What do we do here? Up. What is this doing? Your stupid face doesn't scare us, you big worm. Quick, Emmy, the sake. Shoot the eight purification sake right into, Ro into Orochi's gaping mouth. What the heck are you doing? Oh, I have to... Dude, these worms. These worms. Being annoying.
Fuck up these worms. Fuck out of here. All right. Well, here we go. There we go. Shooting the sake straight into his mouth. It's working. <laughs> Take that, you big worm. Keep it coming, Ami. No. Oh my god. Can't use the fucking thing when they block it. Now is the chance. There we go. Nope. Now it is. Got him. I think we got hit also, but whatever. Look, that's one down. Don't stop there. Let's get the other heads drunk too. Okay, so we have to get every head drunk. There we go. He's probably like one more. You gonna let me actually throw this in your mouth or no? Might have to do it while he's in the middle of that attack. Like right now. No? What the heck, man? Okay, let's just keep going to the other heads. Like this one. Ow. Ow. What the fuck? Okay. Got that. Oh, come on. Why does that do so much damage to me? Okay, we got that. Okay, there's another one. Come on, dude. Why why can I not get out of that? That's some bullshit. Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking die from that. Okay, there we go. Dude, that head sucks. Guessing we gotta ring the bell.